Lately, I've been noticing a big trend where creators use anime clips with an AI voiceover to share motivational life lessons. And since anime is one of the most watched genres worldwide and often has motivational and philosophical touch, this works extremely well. But using copyrighted anime is risky. That's why I asked myself, is it possible to generate those clips with AI? Well, as it turns out, you can actually create anime clips which are as good, if not better quality, than actual anime. And the best part, you can do it for free. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make yourself AI-generated anime shorts. As always, I'm going to use ChatGPT for script. And since these channels all use scripts and quotes based on stoic philosophy, I'm instructing ChatGPT to create the script based on a stoic principle. You can, of course, copy and paste this entire prompt for yourself. Now, be careful. It's always important to instruct ChatGPT to use modern and simple words and avoid hyperbolic language. I've also added the quote that I like as an inspiration for ChatGPT. And as you can see down there, ChatGPT generates five scripts you can use for your videos. For instance, this one about sailing and about a sailor, I like very much. So the analogy here is that sometimes the seas are calm, but of course, sometimes storms rage. And it's these storms where your skills as a sailor are truly tested. I like the analogy and I think this is going to work well. Okay, the next step is to create the voiceover. And if you don't want to have a voiceover sound like Siri's annoying cousin, I recommend Eleven Labs. This is by far the most realistic voiceover software there is. And they have a free plan which gives you 20 minutes of voice generation a month. When you go over to these voices here, you can browse through hundreds of unique voices and really pick one you think fits best with your videos. Once you've found a voice you like, paste in your script like I did here and then just click on generate speech. And now the fun part begins. Let's start with the actual generation of anime videos. For this, I'm going to use Pika, formerly known as Pika Labs. They also have a paid plan, but they've also got a free plan. Pika is really, really good endless opportunities. Free plan gives you 250 initial credits and these 250 are regenerating each month, but also it's not expensive if you want to go and purchase it. I've already generated hundreds of videos and I can confidently say that I have a very good prompt template you can use to generate those videos. You have some of these examples and they also have sound effects. Just have a listen to this. Really cool, right? So I always start with a subject of the video. So it's going to be a sailboat in the storm. Then you just want to describe the scenery and ambient of the video. For instance, high waves, lightning, rain, dark ambient. Lastly, you want to describe the style of the video. So it's going to be Ghibli style anime. And I always like to add hand drawn to just to give it a that really authentic effect. Now here you can also go to video options and you can choose the aspect ratio. And you might think that you want to change this to like 9 by 16 because we're making short form content, but you really want to leave this at 16 by 9. This is because the model is trained on anime videos and they're always 16 by 9. So this way you will get much better results. Later on, you can crop this to fit the short form aspect ratio. And also down there, frames per second, just move this back to 12. All right. Again, this is the same frame rate as most animations and will give you much better results. In this case, I'll just go over here and I'll make strength of motion to four. I want to have a lot of motion in the video. Therefore, I do that. And lastly, I always recommend given negative prompts. These are things you don't want to see in the video. To start, I recommend doing this. Ugly, deformation, distortion, blurry, blur, low quality. And if you add cheater as well, this would be a perfect description of my ex. But hey, that's not going to do that. Now, when you make your first generation and something appears in the video that you don't want and you don't like, you simply want to add this to this list. And lastly, this is seed number. This is like a code you add to your generation. If you don't change anything and hit generate again, you will get the same result if you use the same seed number. However, if you change the seed number and nothing else, you will get a variation of your generation. So if you generate something you like, but it is not quite there yet, you keep the seed number the same and only adjust your prompt. However, if you generate something which is not what you're looking for, you can simply change the seed number 
and try again. So this is already looking nice. As you can see, you get three seconds per each one of these. I'll use this one for like the entrance scene or the opening clip and then I will generate more of these because as you can see each clip is going to give you three seconds. You can add four seconds on top of this and it's always going to cost you credits right so you can just add four seconds click on the generate once more but as you can see you need to upgrade to a subscription. So in order to do this for free just regenerate with the same or different seed numbers until you get like 20 seconds in total, okay? Now you're almost ready to add everything together, but before you can do this, you will need to download some background music. If you're gonna use these videos on Instagram or TikTok, you can simply download the latest viral music. However, if you're gonna use these as YouTube shorts, you wanna use copyright-free music. Epidemic Sound has the largest library of copyright-free music, so that's always what I like to use. I'm not affiliating with them or something like that. I just like to use them. So let's now add everything together. For this, you need an editing software, and I recommend using CapCut, simply because it's free and very user-friendly. But you can use any editing software out there you like, since we're only gonna use basic features. Now when you've got everything on your timeline, it is time to edit this. Make enough of these videos to cover for the voiceover, and with the music, you can do something really, really nice to make it highly engaging. First of all, find the peak in your background music. Find the climax. Let me just do that real quick. So it is right here. So I'll just make my voiceover, the peak on my voiceover to start just after this peak. So let's say like here. And the point of my voiceover is right here. Be careful. The background music is always too loud. It's always too loud. Just lower it down a few times until you feel it's all right. So now when you made all of this, just cut the front part of it as you've seen it and then just move it like this. And now let's just have a look and listen to it. Yet it's in these storms where your skills as a sailor are truly tested. Embrace the turbulence, adjust your sails and steer towards the horizon of self-improvement. For it's not the calm seas, but the rough waters that forge the most seasoned sailors. So as you can see, pretty good. The last thing that you want to do is to add some captions to your video, also known as subtitles. The reason for this is that around 40% of people who watch short form content do this with the sound off or in low volume. I'm one of them. And if you don't add captions, all these people won't watch your video, giving you almost no chance to go viral. Besides, captions are a great way to engage your viewers, which results in them watching the video longer giving you even more chance to go viral, especially if you're using animated captions like these. For this, I always use Submagic or sometimes CapCut. Submagic is AI powered. This one automatically transcribes your video and adds animated captions. You can use this program for free. However, I would recommend looking into a paid plan to unlock all of the features that they've got. But of course, as I've told you, CapCut is always good. And if you edit with Premiere, like I'm doing right now, all you gotta do is to export the video, then upload it on CapCut, and then just go with the auto captions that they've got. It's a superb feature. CapCut is always good to use. And then of course, you know what is the most important part when it comes to social media content creation and just having good money from it? Consistency, right? Make one or two of these per day and just post it, be a regular, and it's gonna be good for you. Until now, we just have still images on all of these social media platforms, but with Pika, you can do great things. Just be creative, right? Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.